toolkits. How many parts, tools and which tools should you take on a ride? This will depend on a lot of things. Some guys hate being weighed down with any tools. They will take the risk of walking out, then rescuing their bike later. Or, if you aren't riding far from your base, your riding buddies can always head back to grab the needed tools or parts. Then there are the lazy sods who just rely on their mates for parts and repairs. Of course, there is no point in duplicating too many items. For example, on our rides, I will often bring the first aid kit and tow rope for our long rides, and the other guys will split the required tools among themselves to lighten the load. Let's start with some basics. The stock toolkit is a bare minimum, of course. You usually need to carry a few extra tools. A helpful exercise, imagine typical problems and what you need to fix them out in the forest. Whether it's flat tyres, broken levers, a drowned bike or electrical issues. Another good practical exercise is to work on your bike at home just using the tools you ride with. You will quickly learn what is missing from that stock toolkit. So at the very least, you may want to add the following to your stock toolkit. Star or Torx bolts tools, Allen keys, a spark plug, spare levers, tape, wire and cable ties. So what if you like just to be better prepared or you're riding a bit further? We would suggest getting set up for puncture repairs. Just pause to read. We reckon it's worth including a tow rope. Walking more than a few miles in dirt bike boots ain't a lot of fun. Carry a pack of bolts that suit your bike. There are aftermarket packs for most models. Include spare bolts for your handguards and any other aftermarket bits too. Some guys also replace many of their bolts to get them all matching so less tools are needed. JB Weld or Quick Steel are both handy for patching up a broken crankcase well enough to limp back to your base. A pair of your old brake pads can be worth carrying if you forgot to replace those brake pads before the ride. Your bike should have a spare electrical fuse or two, but these take so little space it is worth having plenty of spares. A basic first aid kit takes up little room and it's always useful if you will be travelling some distance from your base. It's rare for a well-maintained chain to break, but just in case, carry a chain breaker, two joining links and a few spare links as well. Extreme Toolkit. If you like to be really well prepared or are going a long distance into nasty terrain, it's worth carrying enough tools to get you out of sticky situations. Along with the JB Weld or Quick Steel mentioned earlier, we would suggest some thin bits of alloy plate or just parts of an old alloy drink can to help patch up broken crankcases along with some solvent to prepare the surfaces and some spare engine oil. Carry some spare rubber hose for both broken fuel lines and radiator hoses as well. A sharp knife can be useful for cutting those hoses and all sorts of other stuff too. A voltmeter and spare electrical wiring is handy if you run into tricky electrical problems. Carry a more comprehensive first aid kit for longer rides. Include a whistle in case you are lying in a ditch somewhere as your friends ride past trying to find you. Include a space blanket with your first aid kit in case you are forced to sleep out overnight in cold weather. Water purification tablets like Aquatab or Puritab 
are great if you are badly dehydrated and can only find a muddy puddle. And you never know when a cigarette lighter might come in handy. If you are riding alone or together in extremely remote areas, make sure you've got the best phone coverage possible and look into trackers and emergency beacons for getting rescue services to your location quickly for emergencies and learn some basic first aid too. Finally, make sure your tools can't hurt you. Wherever you store them, make sure those sharp bits can't dig into you in a big accident. Things like tool rolls or a sturdy bum bag are safer and also keep a nice low centre of gravity. In Australia, a long time favourite has been the mighty Kelly bum bag, which gets a lot of overseas sales as well. Any extra ideas? Let me know, I'll include them here. So ride safe guys, and hopefully a bit of preparation will mean riding that broken bike home instead of rescuing it later.